Hey everybody, it's a Mad Master here. I'm doing another video today. Hey, it looks like my hair, I don't have a receding hairline. Check that out. Isn't that weird how my hair, how weird my hair acts? It's like my hair is on a, it's like if I'm in a bad mood, it'll recede and make me look like a whatever. And then it sometimes it's just like, go oh, crazy. It looks like my hair is normal. I don't know what the hell is wrong with my fucking hair. You know, maybe I need to start seeing a, uh, hairstylist again like I was years many years ago now um so anyways this video is about Elon Musk and the uh controversial Twitter stuff and X or whatever the hell and I was just having this thought so these politicians and these pundits and stuff like or uh think tank economists and stuff who are wrong many times like Robert Reich or Rake or whatever the hell oh you should, you should uh, arrest Elon Musk now the, it turns out, you know, I've been reading, uh, was reading uh, Elon Musk's uh, biography. Um, I'm not a fan or supporter, by the way. But, you know, he has many government contracts and many, you know, defense industrial uh, complex, military industrial complex things. So have these people ever talked about canceling those things? No, no, of course not. Just the Twitter stuff, the speech, the mess, the hate speech, the misinformation. So speech is more important than fucking uh, funding government wars, huh? That's what it seems like to me. Anyways, it's almost like a distraction. It's like a red herring kind of thing. So that's what I got to say about that. I think it's really stupid. Um, these people that are, you know, I, I do believe there's Elon Musk derangement syndrome just as there's Trump derangement syndrome. But my definition is very different than most people's. You focus on these little things that are stupid or that everybody else does or whatever. And then you don't look at the real issues uh, that are going on. So that's, so I, I did something today that's very, uh, that I'm just going to say today is, uh, Sunday, September, what day is it today? It's the second week of September. Right? <laughs> God damn it, I can't remember the day of the week. It's not 9-11 yet. 9-11. Um, I think it's like the ninth or something today. And, um, so, uh, I just want to say, like, living in this town with my new bumper sticker, Jill Stein 2024, you can hate me all you want, um, I just want to say that I'm alive on this day, so hopefully I won't get in any trouble or any, you know, anybody go after me for that. I don't think they will, but necessarily, but people might be triggered or pissed off, especially around here, um. It's a protest, you know, against the two-party duopoly and the system. And I do like Jill Stein to some extent. Her music uh, that she released from somebody's sister back in the 90s is not my forte or cup of tea if you listen to it. Um, there's a few good performances of her with a bongo singing with her ex-musical -part partner and stuff from more recent time that I could, I could kind of stand, but her music overall was... She was, okay, so background, Jill Stein used to be like this alterna, folk, hippy-dippy, uh, jam band, sort of pop rocker in the 90s. With this band called Somebody's Sister. She's been a doctor and like a professor and then was in his hippy-dippy band. So like, she's done a lot of stuff in her life. Uh, maybe she's a spy, I don't know. Or Russia, Russia, Russia. Yeah. So before you give me any crap about Russia, um... So remember, your your party is probably being funded by Israel and being covertly operated by Israel um, or Saudi Arabia in some cases, like with Trump and stuff. So, and I don't think that truly Jill Stein is a Russian agent or whatever. Of course, people are going to label her as a spoiler and ruin her. Um, am I going to vote, though? I don't think I'm going to vote anyways. So it's just, it's kind of just like a thing. It's just a little social experiment because I want to do more of those lately. Um, certain social experiments I need to get better at really quick because <laughs> anyways, that's about all.